Sexist dress codes in the workplace are forcing women to dye their hair, wear high heels and keep reapplying makeup. And that is according to a new report out today. Well, Nicola Thorpe was sent home from work for not wearing heels. She began a petition that was signed by over 150,000 people and led to an inquiry into workplace dress codes. Yes, this isn't just any report. This is the Petitions Committee and Women and Equalities Committee. This is um, a very significant report triggered by your petition and they have agreed that it is sexist to require women to wear heels to work why did you not want to wear heels to work because it ended up with you getting the sack didn't it I did yes i lost my job as a receptionist um i didn't want to wear heels first and foremost because uh, they were going to be painful i would be working uh, walking for nine hours a day 40 hours a week uh, escorting clients from the reception to their meeting room so that mm. first of all was a physical thing mm. But when they insisted that I wore them, what I thought, kind of company was it? It was an accountancy firm. It was PwC. And did all the guys wear suits mainly? In the uh, actually, in PwC, not all the guys do wear suits. If they're client facing, then they do. And I obviously would. So be. that. So my question to you would be. Yeah. When it's client-facing, like you said, mm -hmm. the men, I would imagine it's almost probably a contractual thing too, they have to look the part to meet clients, right? Mm -hmm. if, you're the, yeah, but if you're the gatekeeper mm -hmm. to those meetings and you're take, taking very important clients to meet besuited guys yeah. or women or whatever in, in, the, uh, in the business end of the company, mm -hmm. Is it, is it actually sexist for the company to say to you, we'd like you to look fantastic as well and to look glamorous and to wear heels and really set a kind of, yeah. whoa? Well, that's the last bit, isn't it? To look professional, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Not to look glamorous or to have to but wear heels. But don't the two go hand in hand? No, they don't. You said it, men would be playing a part and you think that a man wearing a suit and smart flat shoes is playing the part. What kind of part are we telling women that they need to play if their part... Same as the men, I no, think. No, if your part includes wearing lipstick, mm. wearing heels which change your physicality, they were designed to make women look sexier, not more professional. Do you object to wearing lipstick in, as a receptionist in a company like that? Uh, I would object to being told really? that I have to. Yeah, absolutely. You don't think there's any presentational requirement on people there who is. are the, the front people the for, for companies? Men. You wouldn't have to wear lipstick. No, if but if I went in sort of unshaven and I was working for a top yeah. legal firm or a candidacy firm or this show, if I just came in and hadn't bothered shaving, somebody would tell me to shave yeah. and that would be a requirement of my job. So I just wonder whether... Mm. I, I get the point you're making mm -hmm. and I don't think women should be ever forced to do anything, frankly. But I do think certain jobs mm -hmm. and certain positions in the jobs, if you're the, the face of that company taking in clients, I don't think it's massively unreasonable for them to say, we don't really want you in flats walking these guys or women I think the point to is, meet our meetings. It? Where is the line between smart, yeah. requirement for everybody in this mm -hmm. particular job, and the line then from smart to glamorous, yeah. blurring that line sli slightly, mm -hmm. and then from glamorous to sexy? And, you know, that's the kind of worry, isn't it, that Absolutely. it becomes sexist because there's a certain requirement of a woman... To look more attractive. Way. If I didn't yeah. wear a tie, I think one of my bosses might go, yeah. you know something, if you're going to be the Prime Minister, but employers we'd like you to wear to a tie. Stipulate what they what the image they want yes. to portray is and if they're saying to me all i've ever been told is as a receptionist you want you to look smart and professional mm. if i was told we want you to look sexy and attractive mm. and fit the stereotype of a female as we see it as we've seen it since the 1950s and that's what um, women are worried is the message that is being sent when course. they are told they are required but if you're a nurse, if you're a nurse on a busy hospital ward i absolutely get heels of course are not appropriate right and they'd be actually they would be damaging to your ability to do your job but if you're in a, pres a presentational mm. kind of job, male or female, it could be a male receptionist, you know, he has to wear a smart suit or whatever, if that is what the company would like to exude as its image. Yes, I would happily wear this, the female version of, we're not saying we have to wear exactly the same, it's an equal um, item of clothing. I would happily wear a female brogue, the same, and were you then saying that your shoes aren't smart? No, but if I, was, if I started coming in high heels, like six-inch mm. Louboutins, for example, <laughs> somebody that. would say to me, Piers, I have a bit of a problem with this. Can you stop wearing the high heels? That would be reverse sexism. Yeah. It would be reverse sexism, mm. but unfortunately we're, as we always have been, the ones at a disadvantage, and we're the ones who are trying to get up to your level. We don't want to bring you down I'm to ours. I'm not sure Piers. when Except... you've got a British Prime Minister who's a woman mm. that you are quite as disadvantaged, perhaps, as you would like You think because you've got a female Prime Minister? Yeah, I think so. sexism's over. I, Look no, at the women. No, 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 it's not over <laughs> at all. But what a massive leap, sure. Yeah, incredible, absolutely incredible leap. But look at the, how much pressure is put on Theresa May uh, 
how much talk there is around her appearance. She's not just her done a photo shoot mm. for Vogue USA. I know, I don't. I don't agree she with wears her politics. heels quite deliberately. We had this debate. Yeah. Theresa May deliberately wears very quite exotically coloured heels mm -hmm. to make a statement that she's not a drab, boring politician. Now she does that, That's and great. she talks very openly about it. I have no problem with that. She yeah. has no problem talking about it. Some other women, and mm. you've just been one of them, look at that and say it's totally wrong. She gets objectified. No, I don't at all. I think it's bad that the papers objectify her and don't talk about her policies as well. But she wants to be objectified as well as talk about her policies. I don't think she wants to be objectified as a woman. I think she, she has, wants to be, she also she has her brand about her and fashion. She, she has um, her personality and she um, portrays herself as a, as a glamorous woman and that's absolutely her choice and long may she be able okay, to do that. Can I be a mouthy mm. woman and uh, interrupt <laughs> because um, frankly I can't get that image of peers and heels out of my head. Exactly. But, uh, nobody, Andy, nobody should be subjected to that. 